Good morning, it's Thursday the 6th of April and uh, made a wonderful cup of coffee to start today. If you have your Bibles, 1 Chronicles 29, I'm going to read from verse 10 through 12. 1 Chronicles 29, from verse 10. David is coming to the end of his life and the Lord says to him, As much as you want to build the temple, a house for me, your hands are bloodied. Uh, you've committed sins and killed people to cover up sins and you've done some stuff i'm not going to allow you to build but you can you can prepare everything you can get everything that's needed for your son solomon to build the temple with and david amasses gets all this stuff and the people give generously and willingly to to the house of god and then so david blessed the lord in the sight of all the assembly and david said blessed are you o lord god of israel our father forever and ever Yours, O Lord, is the greatness and the power and the glory and the victory and the majesty. Indeed, everything that is in the heavens and the earth, yours is the dominion, O Lord, and you exalt yourself as head over all. Both riches and honor come from you, and you rule over all, and in your hand is power and might, and it lies in your hand to make great and to strengthen everyone. Now, therefore, our God, we thank you and praise your glorious name. David lives a life, uh, and at the end of his life, he gives this awesome, awesome prayer of praise to God. And he was preparing in his mind's eye for the establishment of a temple where priests would annually come and have to offer sacrifices for forgiveness of sins and people would come and they would worship God in the temple but the temple was a place of separation uh, Gentiles couldn't get into into the inner courts there was the court of the Gentiles then uh, then there was the court to the people but if you were a woman then you only got as far as that then there was the court that the men could go into then there was the court that the priests went into then there was the holy of holies where one priest once a year could get into and there was just these separation upon separation upon separation in this beautiful house of god and now it's easter and from tomorrow we we talk about the crucifixion of christ the death of christ on the cross sunday is the resurrection and standing up of jesus christ and i get so excited about that because <sighs> God in his greatness and in his majesty, in his glory, in his power, in his victory, in everything that is in heaven and on earth, his is the dominion and he exalts himself and he places himself as head over all and both riches and honor come from him and he rules over all and in his hand is power and might and it lies in his hand to make great and to strengthen everyone. Now therefore our God we Thank you and praise your glorious name. In Jesus Christ, he breaks down the rules. The, the temple, the veil in the temple is torn and, and access to God is given to everyone through Jesus Christ. And the establishment of a new kingdom, the establishment of a new covenant, the establishment of a new temple. The temple now becomes, as we said yesterday, your body becomes the temple of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit seals you at salvation. God takes up residence in your heart. There's no separation. There's no outer court. There's no inner court. There's no holy of holies. It's, it's just an amazing concept or thought. And God makes himself available through his son's death once and for all. There's not an annual sacrifice that has to be done. And so Easter for me is, is such an amazing time because it reveals the Father heart of God. It reveals the greatness and the glory and the planning and the power of our God. This is an unbelievable time. I have said to you yesterday, you know, the past nine weeks, so much more than the past nine weeks, the past nine is where my, my heart clopped, not so much of a clop. Um, I was born. It is for me the time of the Christian year. It is the time of my Christian belief. Um, en ek raak so opgewonde oor wat, wat God in en dier sy kerk gaan doen oor die paastijd, so 
ek weet as dienste reg beskikbaar reg rondom die land verskye tye en plekke waar mense by die Here kan uitkom in die teenwoordigheid van die gelowig is doen jou self 'n gins doen jou geloof 'n gins en kom by daai vergaderings uit kom en vier saam met lees net hierdie gebed van David weer gaan lees om reg deur en en hoor alles wat hy daar sê Lees die, die begin van die hoofstuk om te hoor, hoe die mense so vrygevig vir die Heere sy huis gegeen. En as hy die dankbaarheid, wat, wat David sê, hy wat so baie gegeen het, gee nog meer. En dan sê, my Heere, eindelijk alles wat ek gee, kom van hier of in elk geval. So ek gee net, I'm giving back to you yours anyway. It's such an awesome time. And, and this Easter, get caught up with the generosity and the love and the extravagance of God who gives His Son so that you and I can enter into the fullness, not of His temple, but our bodies become the temple, the dwelling place of this awesome, amazing, powerful, great, glorious God. Now, I don't know. I'm going to have a couple, a couple of cups, cups of coffee today, just to think through that and just revel in the goodness and the greatness and the bigness of God, who establishes all things and rules all things. Why don't you do that as well this Thursday? And may you have a wonderful Easter. Lord willing, see you at the, the other side of it. Today I choose to fall.